in my opinion, right, religious or non-religious beliefs, a high quality man does not drink alcohol, right? Completely ignoring the religious beliefs, right? A high quality man does not drink alcohol in any sort of occasion. Alcohol impairs you mentally, right? It may, it may be fun for the occasion, but it will impair you mentally. And to many people, this is, is like an, a restriction on their freedom to do things. But when you are constantly consuming things that alter how you think, right? And there is proven effects of alcohol that can increase cancer rates, that, in, that can increase uh, delusion, uh, the, it's called make you more vulnerable to the people around you, put you in a bad situation. It, ignoring all these things, right? Removing all these things that have already been proven by science. You should know that alcohol, it puts you under the influence, right? When you're under the influence, you are not thinking straight, right? Forget all the cancer they can cause, all that shit, forget all the liver disease. I'm talking about the, the complete lack of awareness you have. Now, if you, if, if you look at Andrew Tate, right? And Andrew Tate, he constantly speaks about how you need to be ready for every opportunity around you. Not be paranoid, but you need to be ready for any, any time something can go, can go shit sideways. Because we know that things can just, like this, like this, instantly, instantly something can go wrong. You're telling me you're not prepared for that? You're telling me it's, you're, you're drunk, too drunk to even see around you, talk to people around you, and that's it, you're fucked? You need to pay attention to the situation around you. Be always, always uh, on guard, right? Like completely like comprehending the environment around you. you. You need to have full presence, right? So you need to meditate. You need to meditate. Make sure you are present and aware of your of yourself first. When you're aware of yourself, you're aware of everything around you. Okay, this person's here. This person's here. Something can go wrong here. Something can go wrong. They're starting an argument. They're talking to each other. Or if you are alone, right? If you're alone, if you're drinking yourself alone, which is one of the saddest things you can do, right? Drinking yourself alone. There is no awareness to any potential danger that you can cause yourself when you are alone, right? Stumble alone or by yourself, fall down the stairs, you can hit your head, it's instant death, right? Stumble alone, uh, as you get out of bed, you're what's called, you're drunk or you're drinking yourself on your table, stumble, hit your head on somewhere, break an arm, dislocate something, right? Of course, it's a worst case scenarios, but it is, but it, it, it's not uncommon for you to hear stories of people who drink themselves in their own basements, get locked out, or people who drink themselves uh, at bars late at night where they have to drive home and crash. Or it's a, it's a crux, right? It's a, uh, it's a crutch. It's a crutch for people to rely on their drinking to get out of a painful situation where they do they don't want to talk to anybody else. They don't want to, they don't they don't want to confront it. Right? Drinking is for cowards. You drink because you want to escape a situation. There is no drinking because it's fun. You don't drink because it is an enjoyable act. You drink because you want to escape something that scares you. When something scares you, when something terrifies you, when something is a challenge in your life, you, dr you drink because you want to escape it. Now, if you drink in social events to have more fun, yet again, you are, you're just a coward. If you're scared to talk to people, uh, you can't approach them without being, just like, not being in the right mindset, right? You're, you're a coward who's not facing his fears correctly. Now, I've, I've heard many stories, I've heard many, many stories, especially I've read many comments on Instagram and fucking garbage applications like TikTok, and they're, t they're talking about, oh, yeah, I, I can't, I'm not confident if I don't drink. I'm sorry, you're a coward. You're a, you're a pathetic coward. You can't talk to men or women without being, uh, without, without, without being under the influence, right? You can't, you can't approach new people, start new conversations, have fun with other people, enjoy, enjoy the time with your friends without being completely under the influence. Without being in the right mind, you are not yourself. Without being yourself, you're afraid of yourself. Without being yourself, you want to be, be under the influence of something else in your mind. It, alcohol literally pulls the water away from your head. It shrinks your brain, right? And your brain requires 20% of the calories in your, that you get every day. So think about it like this. If, if you're a buff person who, who eats about 3,000 calories a day, 20% of 3,000 as a buff person, right? 600 calories, gone, gone, right? These are, the, these are just the calories used by your brain. Now, if your brain is not even getting enough water to sustain any of it, right? What do you think that does to your brain? What does that do to your thyroid? What does that do to your mental, uh, mental stability? Only cowards drink because they're afraid of facing the real world, because they're afraid of talking to people, right? No, nobody likes the taste of beer, right? When you ask somebody, what does beer taste like? It tastes like piss. What, do you, what, does, wine ta what, does, wine, what does wine taste like? Tastes like mold and shit. No, nobody truly likes how it tastes, right? They just taste it because of social pressure. It's a, it's a crutch. It's an escape. It's for cowards. 
uh, people are people can't talk to each other, so they need they need alcohol. If you're too scared to approach someone and you drink alcohol, you're not fixing a problem. You're still running away from it. So as I say this, no high high quality man, no high quality truly special man goes to a bar, right? Goes goes out with friends and he says, "Oh, I need to drink so I can feel so I can feel better about myself or I can talk to others." A high quality man does not go to bars. He doesn't go to that toxic shit environment, right? With the, uh, all these weak, fat, old, young, skinny, dumb men, right? You, as a high quality man, would instead go to somewhere where you can perform an activity with your friends, something that's physical or mental, or uh, just watch, maybe watch a movie with your friends, because it is, it is much more, uh, it is much better for you, right? You enjoy it more, you, you, get, you gather more memories instead of sitting at a bar, watching a game or talking to each other, or trying to pick up girls or wasting your fucking time doing dumb shit, drinking alcohol. You're not helping yourself like this. You're not fixing anything in your life like this, right? And even from the religious beliefs, you have so many religious men and women, right? Who are claimed, claimed to be Muslim or whatever other religion that pro, pro, prohibits alcohol and they'll proceed to drink alcohol, right? Uh, if you can't even stay, stay true to the most important thing to your life, which is your faith, right? You're, not, you're never going to be true to yourself. If you constantly keep lying to your faith, right, you're never going to be fixing anything in your life. That's just faith, right? Most people who are, who are, not, who don't, are not even religious, right, the, the atheists and the agnostics, right, they, they are afraid to, to be told that, oh, I only drink for the fun of it, I only drink for the occasion, or I only drink for, for special events and all this. A special event is a worst case scenario. Like, it's a special event, so you drink on it. It's a special event where you are trying to, to go, like to enjoy the memory, to enjoy the t event you're at. It's going to become a beautiful memory you're going to have, and you want to drink in it. Drinking, uh, you can black out from drinking, so you don't remember it. You don't remember the special time you had. Why would you go to a special event like a marriage, right, or some, whatever a, a party for graduation? Drink. After you drink, you black out. Wake up the next day with a headache. And you don't remember what you did for the last 12 hours. That's not a special event. That's a, you've wasted your time and money, right? You've gotten unhealthier. You probably put on more weight because you're drinking. It's a coward's choice to drink. Right? It's your choice. Be unaware. Be, get fat. Uh, your brain becomes slower. Your, your liver becomes slower. Your whole body slows down. Wake up tomorrow with a fucking soaring headache. Or how about you don't drink, enjoy the moment, and live the life that you're actually experiencing. The best way to resolve the habit of drinking is to uh, pursue a therapist, talk to a friend, or if you want, I do have a video on breaking down habits or restoring habits. Short video will teach you very simple, a very simple method of breaking down a habit or restoring a habit. It's uh, it's more of a mental battle than it is a physical battle. I can't give you a comfort challenge to tell you, oh, don't do this or don't do that. It's just, it's ideally, you're able to uh, step away from it, go, to go slowly step away from it, reduce your intake or not just go cold turkey and slowly, like constantly regress and regress and regress. You need to try to slowly remove your uh, intake of alcohol and even other substances, whatever you can do. So go to watch the video I have on breaking down habits or talk to a friend, speak to a therapist, whatever you can. Take care.